Hey guys, how are you all doing? Back with another quick pocket chip video today. Uh, there will be more coming later in this later this week, but I've been sort of trying to learn everything. It's been taking me some time. Trying to get stuff working has taken some time. But today we're going to show you how to play Super Nintendo games. Now there is a couple of threads on the forum about this, but I decided to go ahead and download some emulators and see what I could do. So first up, you want to go into terminal. You're going to want to download FCEUX. Now to do this, you're going to have to press sudo apt get uh, fceux. Uh, no, sudo apt get install fceux and then press enter. But may not work first. Sometimes you have to put sudo apt get update. These commands will be in the comment section below for you guys to just look at and do yourselves. Then you can download fceux. Now once you've downloaded FCEUX, you simply have to put in FCEUX, bear in mind I'm doing this in the dark, and it should boot up like so. Now in order to get your ROM files onto the pocket chip, you may need a USB stick, which I have currently in the top here. Uh, this is my um, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes USB stick, which I got with the game. and. Uh, you want to put your ROMs on there and then plug it into the top. Now, you can check out all these options and stuff, but honestly, it doesn't size to the screen, so you'll be kind of lost with certain things there. What you want to do is press on file. Now, this can actually be a bit finicky, but if you can press on file and quickly go onto open ROM, like so, you can then go and click onto a game. Now obviously I've already selected my USB stick, but on the left here, your USB stick will come up with a size of what it is, and then volume will likely be the name of your USB stick. So if you click on that, and inside, you're going to want a folder called SNES, or you can just put the ROMs straight onto the root, it's entirely up to you. And then you're going to want to press enter, and then you should see your, your NES files here, or SNES, NES, either way. And from there... You just choose one and press enter. Now you see that it actually loads up on the left side of the screen. This can actually be changed. Again, this is going to be a bit finicky for you, but you're going to have to go up to options and you're going to have to scroll down, keeping your finger on the screen, and then let go on here. Now it does say you can press Alt and return to enter full screen mode, but currently that only exits full screen mode and doesn't enter it so you need to do that way to enter full screen mode to exit you then press alt and enter together and it will exit full screen mode but as you can see now if you press enter your left and right keys are mapped to the left and right on the actual um, directional controls on the pocket chip but your jump is mapped to F and I believe that was your A or B, and B is mapped to something else. I think it's O. You can check this by going into the controls, but bear in mind that once you go into your controls, you can actually get out of the controls unless you go into the command terminal and press Control C twice in order to shut down SCUX and reboot it. So what I'll do in the comments section is I'll put, obviously, the instructions there, as well as what buttons do what uh, corresponding to the pocket chip, so hopefully that will help you out, but you can't really change much. Now the, the emulator actually runs pretty well, uh, you can save state, uh, you can also, there are ways by pressing many different keys which I did earlier, to speed up the emulation and slow down the emulation. Again, this will be done in another video if you want, let me know in the comment section below if you want a full tutorial, uh, but as of now, I'll just put the information down there so that you can see what's what. But the games run pretty well. So Mario, absolute classic. Runs really well. Um, and looks great on Pocket Chip as well. Now, for some reason, we're getting some slowdown. That may be due to the fact that I'm loading it from the USB card and not off the device itself. But as you can see, it, it runs pretty smooth. So that's Super Mario for you. Again, you're going to want to press Alt, 
which I believe is down here somewhere. I can't see because I'm in the dark. And enter, and voila, we exit the full screen mode. And then if you go back to open ROM, you can simply just switch your ROM to something a little bit worse. Uh, like so. And then again, to get into full screen, hold down the options, scroll your finger down to full screen, and voila. Now obviously it's not full screen because it's not stretched to the screen, it still keeps its 4.3 aspect ratio. I'm really unsure on how to change that. Enter is start, I believe. That seems to work. Uh, it's the start button. Say so F is, is A and I think I is B. I'll put those in the comment section below. If you like the video, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see more on the on the SNES emulator, FCEUX. Again, let me know. If you have any issues installing this, let me know and I'll try and help you out. Uh, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video, but this is a little, uh, a, a quick way into getting SNES games working because currently there's quite a complex way on the forums, which I haven't even tried yet. Um, but this way is pretty easy. So I shall see you soon, guys, with another video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.